Hey, what's up guys? Austin back with another rowing video. Today, I wanna to take some time to answer a very common question that I get all the time. Should your heels lift up when you row? Now, spoiler alert, the answer isn't quite as clear as a yes or a no. I would say in some cases, the answer is yes, and in some cases, the answer is no. So let's start with the no, your heels shouldn't lift. I'd say the main reason why your heels shouldn't lift when you row is if you're brand new to using the rowing machine, your heels shouldn't lift. And this is because when you're learning the entire rowing stroke, there's so many components and things to think about. The last thing you really want to worry about is if your heels are lifting up or not. When more importantly, you should be thinking about your body position, how you're sitting, the length of your stroke, the order in which you perform the rowing stroke. There's just so many things to think about. Worrying about your heels coming up is just another thing to add to that list. And if you focus instead on keeping your heels planted, that's gonna help you as a beginner learn to press with your legs first, swing back, and then pull in the arms to finish. And so if you're brand new to using the rowing machine, I would focus on not lifting up your heels and instead focus on the proper rowing stroke sequence. And if you don't know what that is, check out some of my other videos. Another reason why I don't think your heels should lift up when you row is if you're performing sprint rows. And I'm talking rows like 100, 200, maybe up to 500 meters of rowing, but rows that are super quick, super explosive, max wattage, max effort. Because if you lift your heels during those sprints, that means you're compressing your legs completely for every stroke. And full leg compression during a sprint is sort of a wasted time, a wasted mechanic, because you're so focused on completing that short distance as fast as possible. The time it takes to compress your legs all the way up to lift your heels up is time you could be using instead to take short, explosive strokes with a high stroke rate and help you generate more power. So when you're doing short, sprinty rowing efforts, your heels shouldn't lift up. Now let's talk about the yes, the yes, your heels should be lifting up when you row. And the main reason your heels should be lifting when you row is so that you can achieve the optimal leg compression. And instead of necessarily thinking about your heels, think about your shins instead. When you're rowing a complete, fully compressed rowing stroke, your shins should come to a vertical position. Now, the degree of which your heels are gonna lift on and off the foot plates is gonna totally depend on what's called your ankle flexibility. And I don't like the word ankle flexibility because it's like ankles flexible. Think about whether your calves are tight or if they're not tight. And a lot of people walk around with tight calves and the more tightness you have in your calf muscles, the more those muscles are going to pull your heels off of the ground as you come to that shin's vertical position. And for some people who have the tightest calves ever, if you're coming to that shin's vertical position and you're coming super duper far up on your toes to the point where you're literally like almost pressing through your toes, you probably are better off lessening your stroke compression and getting more of your foot on the foot plate. Because when you take the rowing stroke, you should be able to press through the balls of your feet, through the midfoot, and then through the heel as you finish the rowing stroke. Think about transferring the pressure of each stroke, the power of each stroke, through your whole foot as you take the stroke, but initiating it through the ball slash midfoot portion of your feet. So if you're coming all the way up on your toes, you should probably lessen your stroke compression a little bit more and take some time to stretch out your calves and loosen up those muscles. And if you guys wanna see a video on how to increase your ankle flexibility, let me know. I'll make that, we'll cover it, and we'll help you get more of that compression without your heels lifting as much. But now you can think of like the opposite spectrum of people that have a high amount of ankle flexibility. They might be able to achieve the shin's vertical position without their heels lifting up at all. And if that's the case, well then there's no reason to lift your heels if you can keep your heels planted and compress your shins to vertical. But the idea is shins to vertical is what gets you the optimal leg compression for a majority of rowing efforts. And that's what you should be aiming for. So for my beginners out there that are just watching this video, my advice is to keep your heels on the foot plates as you first learn to develop your rowing stroke. Because just like anything in life, it takes a lot of practice. So get used to taking some strokes with the proper biomechanics of rowing, making sure to press with your legs first, 
Swing back with your core, pulling the arms, arms first, lean the body. You know, just the mechanics of the rowing stroke. Learn how to put power through the entirety of your feet. And as you get more advanced and comfortable with your rowing stroke, start to work on that compression to shins vertical. And if that causes your heels to lift up a little bit, that's a-okay, as long as we're getting a transfer of power throughout the foot. Again, starting the press, the drive of each stroke, pressing through the midfoot or around the ball of your foot, transferring that power through the foot, through the foot, through the heel, towards the very end of the rowing stroke. So that's my best advice to you. That's my take on should your heels lift up or shouldn't they? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Happy to cover a ton of other rowing topics. Just let me know what you guys wanna see. Thanks a lot, and if you're interested in checking out more of what I have to offer, you can check out my rowing eBooks, which are linked down in the comments below, or the description box down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.